I must then consider any mitigating factors. It is, prefer it, sorry, it is profoundly distressing and depressing to say so, but you are in some ways an unlikely murderer. You have no previous convictions for any offences, whether of violence or otherwise. You have no history of drug or alcohol abuse. You did not have a chaotic lifestyle. Uh, I, I know it is difficult for us to be going in uh, and out of this sentencing, but it is for legal reasons that we can't bring you the whole thing. We're bringing you as much as we can of this sentencing. Uh, and I do, of course, apologise for the severity of the details. They are harrowing. Uh, we're going to go back to Derby Crown Court. You did not intend to kill him and that you were distressed at his death. You are conscientious, a hard worker, and you believe in discipline and order. You did try in a misguided and deluded way to build something you believed would be, or at least resemble, a stable family life, albeit one firmly grounded in your own overbearing dominance and control of those around you. These points afford limited mitigation. You have not shown any remorse for what you did. You have not explained what you did or apologised to any of your many victims, direct and indirect. I reduce the minimum term by two years to take account of the limited, limited mitigating features I have identified, the minimum term you will serve will therefore be one of 28 years. I turn to the concurrent sentences on count six, seven and eight. On count six, the offence is one of sustained cruelty to Jacob over many months, causing first bruising and then rib fractures. Although the maximum sentence has increased since the offence was committed, and the new higher maximum does not apply to your offence, the current guideline, effective from 1st April 2023, applies with appropriate adjustment, as I shall explain later. Of its kind, the offence is of the utmost seriousness. The suffering caused to Jacob was intense and prolonged. The harm is Category 1, and the culpability is at Level A. The range in the current guideline is 7 to 12 years, based on a maximum of 14 years, which does not work because the maximum sentence here is 10 years. The notable aggravating feature is that the injuries to Jacob were caused in close proximity well, there we have it on count one. Craig Crouch will spend a minimum of 28 years in prison. The judge continues with the rest of his sentencing. Eight years to run concurrently based on a maximum of 10 years. It is close to being a serious and offensive cruelty to a child. Well, we have there uh, the sentencing on count one for uh, Craig uh, Crouch in the case of baby Jacob uh, Crouch, 10 months old when he was murdered uh, by his stepfather, 28 years uh, minimum uh, term in prison uh, for the death of his uh, step uh, son. Uh, and of course, Becky, the, uh, the sentencing is not finished. We don't know the full extent of it yet. We will have to wait for that. Uh, but a large, lengthy sentence uh, for at least that first count. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.